going to be using six inch pans for the Slavsky sourdough bread copycat. Hey, we used 11 inch last time. I didn't really care for that. We're using six inch. Same ingredients, same amount, just three pans. Now just jot down the ingredients I have written here on the screen for you. These will be the ingredients you'll need. Combine the warm water, sugar, and yeast in a large bowl. Whisk it together a little bit and then let it set for about five minutes until it's bubbly and frothy. Now I forgot to add just a touch of water to my baking soda so to help it dissolve before putting it in. And uh, you might want to do that, but this turned out really good anyway. Now this is the first cup of flour that we're adding with the baking soda and uh, milk and those ingredients. And we'll add the cup and a half of flour here in a little bit. Now we're adding the remainder one and a half cups until it's thick and sticky. After spraying these with the non-stick spray, we're going to dust the bottoms of them with just a little bit of cornmeal. And that's a little bit of extra help to keep the dough or bread from sticking to the pans. They'll practically just fall out. Now you can do this a couple of different ways. You can spray your hands with some of the uh, non-stick spray and grab it with your hands, but I chose a large spoon and I sprayed it. And I just dip in and put what I can in the pan. Now I don't worry about spreading it out to the edges when it's proofing or rising. That's going to do it on its own. So you don't have to worry about pushing it out to the edges. One of them gets a little more dough than the others, but we tried our best to get them as even as we can. And hey, they turn out great though. Now the recipe had called for two 11 inch pans, but I used the same recipe and divide it by three six inch pans. And to me it works a lot better, turns out a lot better. And here we go again, spraying the top of the dough and the pans with the non-stick spray. Now spray one side of this plastic wrap with non-stick spray and lay that side down on the pans and lay it on there loosely. I use one piece for all three. Uh, you can do it individually if you want. I was going to use the proofing on the, the stove, but I decided not to. It's warm enough. I just put them in the oven to keep them out of any wind or breeze that might be around from fans or what have you. As I said, they make their own way out to the edges of the pan. So it's been an hour. We're going to pull the plastic wrap off of there. And and then we'll get that oven up to 375 degrees, and then we'll place them in the oven. Well, the oven's at temp. We're gonna place them in there for about 20 minutes. Now take a look at that. That looks really good. I'm applying some butter to the top of it. 
get it around there real good while they're still warm. And then I'm going to take a brush and brush it all around on this. We will continue to let them cool now. Oh yeah, these will make the perfect sandwich buns. 